Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Go Vacation. And today we want to finish off the snow resort, I think. Maybe even move a little bit into the mountain resort. And then hopefully next episode we can complete all the mini games. A lot of people have been asking if I plan on doing too many more episodes of the series. I want to at the least go ahead and get all of the different resort stuff done. Like all the different mini games until we have our stamp dash completed. So with that being said, we have three things here. And then it looks like one, two, three, four, five, yeah, ten more. So in total, 13 more events we'll do, so hopefully we can do like seven in today's episode, another seven in the next, or something like that. In the meantime, can I hop back onto the skis and get, get moving? Use them, there we go. And I have to move this way and start skiing. Come on, <laughs> go a little bit faster. I don't know what our first event is of the day. I also don't know what this lady wants. She just Does she just wanna talk, or what's going on? Well, I can't find it anywhere. Don't just stand there gawking, listen to me. See, my dad just loves stew, so I was planning on cooking him a delicious one as thanks for all of his hard work. After looking up tons of different stew recipes, I found a legendary one called Sparkling Stew. I figured it uh, out where to find the people who have the ingredients, but whenever I go out searching for the ingredients, I always end up right back here. Hey, I'm not completely helpless. I bet someone's trying to get in the way of my progress on purpose. Why are you blaming others? <laughs> I haven't collected any ingredients, and now I'm starting to get hungry. Uh, isn't there someone in the snow resort that could help me get the sparkling stew ingredients. Uh, stage selection, stage one, two, three, four, five. Maybe we'll do this some other point. Why, why, why not? Didn't your mother tell you to help people when they're in trouble? <laughs> not when I'm busy, I'm trying to complete stuff. Maybe later, okay? Okay, so yeah, where is this person? Looks like they're still, well, not down this way. I gotta turn around. I don't know how I'm skiing on this material right now. That doesn't make much sense. Come on, go back this way. No, 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 come on, go, go, go. Come on, build up some speed, and then go this way. Oh, oh, is it over here? Like, where in the world is this person? Uh, it has to be up here, right? Neither are you two. Get out, get, please. You know what, I'm hopping off of these things. It ain't helping me anymore, if I could. There we go. Where is she? What is with this just ro giant rock in the way? Things are odd around here, and all I wanna do is find my next objective. It has to be you, right? No? I guess it's farther down this way. Maybe it's farther than I thought. It's just deceiving. There it is! Are we making snowmen? Oh, that's probably what we're doing. Oh, these people are having fun. It's funny, because they're, they're making snowmen on the one area that does not have snow. I mean, it has snow, but it's mostly it's a solid pavement. Hey, the snow resort is covered in snow. And what do you, what do, you do with powered up snow? Make snowmen, of course. This is where you can make snowmen. You can make and decorate up to eight of them. You can even smash up the ones you don't like and start over, so make them and decorate them all you like. Come on. All right, roll up, stack, and decorate snowballs to create the snow person of your dreams. So A for making snowballs, walk and roll with the left stick. Gotcha. We're good to go then. We can make the best of snowmen. I guess we can even make Frosty. Snowmen making, roll snowballs, stack them up, and let's make some snowmen or women to be proud of. Well, how wonderful. Welcome to the Winter Wonderland. What would you like to do now? Build a snowman or look at them? Once let's build some, because it doesn't look like there's any to look at. Uh, yeah, let's get to it. So, I don't know, I gotta get a snowball first, right? There we go, and then I gotta start pushing it. All right, so it's at a good height, apparently. I don't know what that was supposed to be. Uh, okay, got it. So we need to make another one that maybe isn't as big. So you would think that would be good. Um, do you want to stack the snowball on top or do you want to break the snowballs on the platform? We'll stack. Uh, yep, yep, yep. And then we just need like a small one. Wait, 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 I wasn't done. Okay, whatever. I guess we'll just have it two little balls instead of three. Uh, once you start accessorizing, you can't go back to add more snowballs. Let's, let's, just, let's just do it. Yep. All right then, so let's start decorating this guy. Um, Okay, so we have different hats. Uh, apparently we can unlock hats later on. So we'll just go with the one, the colored buckets that we have, a green one sounds, no, no, I wanted it. Green, and then, can we move it? Oh, we can. Okay, can lean it forward a little bit. Oh, we can make it larger. Nice. Can put it on its side a little. Perfect, I like it. For the eyebrows, oh, we have a good couple of selections. I'm thinking we'll do, I think we'll do the happy one. There we go, put it all the way down this way. I don't know why I wanted to put the eyebrows like on the top of his head. Let's make them a little bit closer. 
<laughs> make him sinister. No, 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 not what I wanted. Something like that's good. Okay. And for the eyes. Oh, did we just unlock this? Is that what, what, when we were rolling around we unlocked these eyes? That's weird. Um, no, 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 hold on, go back. So we have little crosses. I don't want those actually. Let's go ahead and do just the normal eyes I think would be good. We might wanna make them a little smaller. They're a little too large at the moment. That's a little bit better. And then I guess just move them closer together. That's not too bad. Okay, I think we're making a pretty nice little snowman so far. Uh, and then for the nose, well, we don't have too many options yet. I don't know if I like this too much. I guess it works. Like that, make it a little bit smaller again. No, okay, this is as center as we'll be able to get it. And then finally, a mouth and hands. Oh, cool. So let's, let's do uh, a mouth. We'll do, we'll just do this one. He's nice and content. He's just in the middle of things. Uh, I think that's good right there. And then finally, some hands. What do you got? Let's do blue. There we go. He's got a good variety of colors. And they'll make him have very large hands. Okay. Anything else? Oh, we could do the scarf as well. We're just gonna give him like every color of the rainbow here. Let's give him yellow. And let's make it also a very large scarf. And can we make it askew? We could. Like, the bucket and the scarf are just flowing to the right as if he's in the middle of a storm. Buttons? Wow, you can add a lot to him. We'll do purple. Make them very small buttons. That's all we can do. <laughs> if you make lopsided buttons, can you just make them like full on? No, you can't. I was hoping you could just make them full, full on horizontal for some reason. It'd be funny. There we go. And then remove all. Don't do that. Uh, once you actually cannot accessorize the snowman again, that's fine. He's so colorful. What a wonderful snowman he is. All right, we finished. All right, well, that's good. Let's quit. Food trucks, never a bad time for a breather, a snack alone, or with friends, nourish the body and feed the soul. Oh, they're having like snow cones, cool. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's that's pretty good. I mean, we got our first one done, it was just dressing up a snowman, but I had a good time with it. I knocked over my water bottle. Yippee, snow, please keep going, I wanna see all the kind of snowmans you can make, but just remember that if you make too many, you'll run out of spaces to place them. Um. Okay, well that's fine for now. 12 left before you get them all. Pretty cool. So I think we have ski tricks now. Um, the next activity I'd recommend is Mogul. The Mogul course is found at Dancing Frog. Have fun. Or maybe I'm wrong. Let's go ahead and snowboard. We still haven't really snowboarded around too much, so. I mean, snowboarding is really, really downhill, so I don't know if it'd be good to start at the bottom of the mountain like we are. Let's go to the map and start from like here. Let's just have some snowboarding action. Oh, is it right there? Okay, never mind. <laughs> we don't have to get too much snowboarding action. All right, I'm coming for you, ready? There we go. Go over the bumps and then land a trick for the, uh, from the jumping platform. The complexity of moguling is what makes the sport so fun. Have you noticed that moguling encompasses all the elements of skiing? That's right. Just tur or turns, timing, balance, and air tricks. You have to master them all. Now that you get it, let's get started. Time the mogul. Execute short turns to master the moguls and do air tricks off the ramps as you race for the goal. So objective scoring is affected by no number of turns and tumbles, time tricks. Short turn is ZL and then left or right. Okay, so there are short turns with skiing. Okay, that's good to know. Which one's ZL? The bigger one, okay. I have to check the controller, I always forget that, L and ZL. Okay, the best record is nothing, so we're about to beat that. Your rank is based on your turns, your falls, your tricks. Okay, so let's try it. Oh boy, whoa, I don't like that. How do you jump again? I don't know. Ooh, ooh not bad, whoa, dang it. We are doing well, now I messed it up. Just do like one flip, maybe two, there we go. I didn't wanna do that last one, I don't know why, what was going on there. So I don't know if we're doing very well right now. Maybe I could just, you can't really jump very high. I wanna try that again. That was weird. I mean, I actually, well, look at that, I got 201 points out of the 200 I needed. So maybe I won't try again. <laughs> that was, that was really weird. I like it though. We tried our best. Everybody's dancing, having a good time. Yeah, 201 points out of the need of 200. I'm a real overachiever. Oh yeah, I didn't know, I didn't mention that uh, I put it to nighttime for this area. 
Uh, usually, we've only explored the snow resort when it was daytime. Change it to night for fun. Gaha! You've got way, a ways to go. Moguls may be tough, but boy, are they fun. Come again, I'll be waiting right here. Then we got the new record. Okay, one more snow event left to try, and that's gonna be something. Now, for the Kwawi stand thatch, blah, blah, blah. Ice fishing! Yeah, okay, so we're finishing these off with ice fishing. We'll get the snowmobile so we can just get around more easily, I suppose. But where are we supposed to be? Way on the other side of the resort. So we will use the map to teleport around a little bit. I think from here we'll be fine. Don't remember exactly where it was. Okay, maybe not, because I think it's on the other side of that ridge. Well, if that's the case, then I still don't know if this is... Hmm, hard to tell. I wish the map was a little more zoomed in at times. So if I go this way, I think this is what I want. It's hard to tell. I think it's on the other side of this thing, though. So finding out how to get around to there might be a bit... Yeah, that's definitely the case. So I think I had to go down this way, do a little bit of a U-turn, what a jump. Uh, what is the button for jumping? Can you not jump? I don't know if you can jump on this thing. Ooh, but this is where we're gonna turn around, I think. Ooh, ooh, yeah, definitely. Gotta go up this way. And uh, figure things out a little bit. Whoa, okay, be careful there, lady. I mean, I'm the one going uphill. I think it's my own fault. Oh boy. So where is she? Okay, they're right here. So let's try to yeah, just go on in there. Oh, look at the penguins! Hold on, hold on. Oh, back it up. Nope, back, oh, okay. There we go, perfect. That works for me. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a photo of you guys. Hey! Penguin! There we go, I did the photo book. Good, we got, wait, what, what kind of penguin was that? Emperor penguin, very cool. Oh, what about oh, these? These are gonna be different kinds of penguins. Nope, they're also emperor penguins. Hmm. Well, that was cool. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of other animals we can find. I just haven't done a very good job at that. But now we found penguins, which is amazing. So I'm just gonna run over this way. Maybe I should have used the uh, the jet ski or whatever it's called, but I didn't. Oh well. We do slide on the ice though. But yeah, there's no button to jump. Okay, there it is. No, it's, it's okay, it's ZR. Weird choice. Are those monkeys? Weird. Wasn't expecting monkeys to be here. I think it's a little too cold for them. Japanese macaque. Cool. And what are there? There's more monkeys over there. It looks like it. Maybe we can just take a photo from here. Looking like there's more macaques. Of course, macaque, as far as I understand, is a type of primate. So that's pretty interesting that they're just chilling out here. But hey, that being said, I want to talk to you. Good to have you, pal. Here we have ice fishing. There's nothing better than fishing in the freezing cold. Ice fishing's easy. When you think you've found the perfect spot, cut a hole in the ice and start fishing. Only thing is, there are good holes and there are bad holes. You're more likely to catch, fi catch fish where there are less people around. Make sure you to keep changing holes from time to time. Now I'm gonna sit back and watch, so you just enjoy yourself. I'll be catch lots of fish. All right, ice fishing. Go fishing on a frozen lake. Drill holes and gauge your timing well to catch plenty of fish. Drilling hole is A, and then rotate L, and then lifting the rod is just pressing A. Gotcha, let's get to it. So we're going ice fish. I'm so sorry, fish. I'll throw you back in. I'm not here to eat you. Drill holes in a frozen lake and go fishing. Yep, okay. So let's try this out. So I need to... I mean, I don't know if there's like a, a good way to actually find out where there's a good like place to fish. I'm just gonna go here. I like how the seat just shows up. And then, oh, okay. Oh, I see. So we just have to wait for there to be a bite, I think. And then I press A to pull the rod up. Maybe. Uh. Oh, was that good? I don't know, I saw a little splash, but there was like no vibration or any kind of animation to tell me. This is weird. I don't know how to feel about this one so far. I mean, so far it doesn't look like there's any kind of timer. It's just a matter of waiting for the right time to find the fish. Come on. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, nice, one, two, and three. We found three fish on one line, that's crazy. Can we try that again? I don't know if we should try the same spot twice, that might be a bad idea. But we'll just wait. Just you wait. We'll find all of the fish. Oh, here we go, here we go. Ooh, I don't, to, I don't know if I have to tap the button a lot, but I'm going to. You're in a pretty good spot so far. Let's try it one more time. 
I've already gotten six fish, so I like it. We have six tries left on the top left, I think. Come on, come on, come on, ready? Almost. Maybe not. Uh, oh, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Three more. I don't know, maybe I should just keep trying this spot or I should try a different spot. Well, let's just try a different spot for fun. It's a little uninteresting when I'm just doing the same one over and over again. Okay, so what am I gonna get? It really isn't too far from the other spot, so you think it'd be fine. Three more. I don't know if that's supposed to be normal or not, but I'm gonna just keep going for it. We have four more tries. If I can get three fish every time, that's 12 more fish to get. What do we got, what do we got? Three more. Nice, okay. I'm definitely putting these fish back. There's no need to take this many fish. I don't need them. I could just, oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that, whoops. Okay, try it again. You know, I could just go have a, a salad. I'll be just as full. Let's go to the supermarket. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. Any day now. I'm getting a little impatient, there we go. So we got one more to do after this. Oh, just one that time. Okay, so we'll find a new spot for our last attempt. We'll go right here. And hopefully we find something nice. Just gotta wait though. And this is the last one of the snow resort. So after this, we can move to the mountain resort and get a couple done there as well and have a good time. And the next episode, we'll probably finish all of the uh, different mini games there are. And maybe we'll be finished with it at that point. Maybe we'll do more, up to you guys. Okay. Uh, are we gonna get anything? Come on, sooner or later. Sooner or later. There's a lot of like splashing going on. So you'd think that'd mean that there's a lot, a lot to catch here. I mean, the longer we wait, the higher of a chance we can get something good, right? One, two, oh, three, four, five, six. That's a lot of fish on one line. Holy cow. That made up for the times we messed up. Very cool. That was like a two for one. So uh, we got 22 fish. They were all small fish though. I guess it was the larger fish you could get. Not too bad, I'm not complaining about that. So yeah, that's gonna finish up the snow resort. We can now move on over to the mountain resort and have some fun with that one and hopefully get some cool stuff done. Halfway up the mountain is the Cosmos area where the rocky ridges form a chain. Yeah, sort of see that. So how was today's fishing? Figuring out which spot is, be is best, or is best is key in ice fishing. Then again, luck also does play a big role. Wow, Zebra, that's a lot of fish. Yeah, let's put them back. I don't really need them. 10 left before you get them all, and they're all in the mountain resorts. So let's get to it. Okay, so look at that. You've already collected all the stamps at this resort. Time to check out another one. So yeah, with that being said, let us pause the game. And I think we can move resorts from there. Maybe not, but we can at least go to the bottom where we can change resorts, just like that. And uh, one of these places, yep, this one right here should be the resort change. This game actually moves by a lot quicker when you actually know where to go and what to do. Uh, hey, can I talk to you? How are you finding the resort? The next activity I'd recommend is snowmobile races. It should be marked on the map, so give it a try. What, no, not what I want. I've already done that. I wanted to leave. <laughs> uh, maybe it's the person running right here. Got it? Uh, here you can transfer between resorts. Let's go to the mountain resort. We'll do it daytime. Maybe uh, next episode we'll do dusk or whatever that was. This should be cool. I'm excited. Mountain resort intro five, the twisting and turning out Ouroboros Peak Road can be found about halfway up Mount Shanghar. And there should be a lot of cool stuff we can do like horseback riding and maybe riding, I think there's like a car or like a buggy or a Jeep or something. I can't remember, just from the little trailer previews we've seen. The Kauai Mountain Resort, look at this place, it's so cool. Longhorn Ranch, awesome, let's just get started. Welcome. Zebra, welcome to the Mountain Resort. Surrounded by majestic mountain ranges and peaceful rolling hills, the Mountain Resort is an outdoor paradise. You can get around horseback by off-road car or by kayak. The sightseeing boat and train are also available. Be sure to give them a try. Now for the Kauai Stamp Dash. The first activity I'd recommend to get to know the mountain resort better is tennis. Yeah, they're currently looking for players at the tennis courts near Lum Trumel Trumelia Lake. Have fun. So this is where it might be interesting. It might be like uh, Wii Sports. Oh, look at us riding a horse. Ah, oh, this is so cool. 
Okay, so, um... Wait, am I going the right way? No, I'm not. It's sort of like using the skis. I mean, I feel so bad that I don't want to run into anybody. I don't want to hurt the poor horse. See, so, yeah, I guess we got to go around the lake. What do you know? We can keep tapping Y to speed up. It's like Legend of the Zelda, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, right? <laughs> oh, we can jump. Okay, yep, there we go. So, yeah, let's just get over there. There's a there's a food truck, there's people to talk to. Not too interested in that, though. Just trying to get around everybody. Storming through their their lunch on a horse. Like, out of my way, I got places to be! <laughs> okay, so, yeah, we're getting there. I don't want to go on this bridge. I could go under it, though. This place is so pretty, I love this resort. Looks like fishing is one of the mini games. Not looking forward to that. I'm tired of fishing. I already had the fishing, and I don't want to do it again. But hopefully we can find a number of other animals that we can take photos of for our photo book. I don't know if we could hop off this horse and take a photo, would that count? Um, I might want to try to find out. Whoa, slow down there, buddy. Hold on, hold on. Slow down all the way. Look at this jump off. If I take a photo of that lady's horse, where is she? Right here? Doesn't count. What if I take a photo of her own horse, though? Nothing. All right. So I guess horses, dogs, they don't count. That's a shame. Are right, you good to go? This button? There you go. Okay, so I guess we just gotta get up this way. Right, am I going the right way? I hope so. I'm so glad we came here. Uh, no, it's not. This is the wrong way. It looks like there's like a shooting range here. Interesting. Hey, let's, oh gosh, I'm so sorry, oh no! Oh, I hope you're okay. You seem pretty tough though. You seem like you made it out of that in one piece. So here's the lake. This is, I wish I could move the camera around as we're, you know, moving, because that'd be pretty cool. But we can't, unfortunately. Here it is, okay, yeah, that's right, we're playing tennis. I already forgot. I was just so enthralled by the environment. I was just sort of letting the road take me where we need to go. All right, let's play some tennis. Can my horse play too? Welcome to the tennis resort's mountain activity. Wait, I meant the other way around. Welcome to the, or the, the tennis resort's, yeah. The, I, I think I might have said mountain resort's mountain activity. The mountain resort's tennis activity. I have tennis on the brain so much I accidentally said tennis resort. I really get tunnel vision when it comes to tennis. Silly me. So here's where you can play the tennis activities. Either play alone or with others for lots of fun. After all, everyone likes tennis. Come on then, pick up your racket and get ready. We're about to begin. Tennis doubles, nice. Challenge your rival to a doubles match. The first to win two games wins. So we're uh, going to, pressing A to hit, and then L and the, le the, the, the L analog stick for any direction. Okay, cool. So that should be pretty good. I like tennis, of course we've been playing Mario Tennis Aces, and that's been a ton of fun. I need to check out the brand new character, Blooper, because it's August now. Might record that later today, I'm excited. This really looks like, uh, we sports, the ball definitely doesn't move as fast. So I actually do not control the character moving. I just control where the ball gets hit, which is a little disappointing. I need to be a little bit more involved, but hey, that's fine. Oh man, this makes me wanna play Wii Sports. I know we asked it before in the series, but if you wanna let me know, would you like to see a Wii Sports series? I would have to get a Wii, or at least, and I, I mean, I have a Wii U and I have a Wiimote, but I don't have Wii Sports. So I guess that's, I mean, that wouldn't be too expensive, right? <laughs> uh, I wish I was like sold online. With the Wii shop or whatever, but I guess I'd have to get a phys physical version. Anyways, this is interesting. It's just not as interesting. Oh gosh, gotta be careful. It's not as interesting as other tennis games, right? Because it's just a lot more watered down. Oh, not bad. Oh, that was a pretty fast shot, actually. Ooh, got that strong backhand. That's another point for us. Now it's a 40 love. So at this point, if we can get one more point, we will win this round. It'll be our first game. And if we win the whole set, we win the whole match as well. Okay, so she seems like she's doing pretty well at hitting those. I'm trying to be ready for she misses them, but the perspective is a little bit odd with these. Ooh, right past you. Guess like good timing seems to help. So there's our first game one. We're gonna win the next one now. We're pretty good tennis partners right now. Was I serving before? I guess I wasn't. That's a shame, I wanna be able to serve. Okay, there's that. And then, oh, you got that one. Good job, you got your own point there. We're not gonna let them win at all. Not a single point for them. 15 love. Oh, I'm on the inside now. I don't think I've been on the inside before. Maybe I was serving before then. I just didn't realize. Okay, hold on. Oh, oh. I'm trying to get my character to hit it. Isn't working out so well. 
Oh! <laughs> I'm so desperate to hit the ball. I can't really tell what's going on there. I said the, once again, the perspective is a little weird. But hey, we got it. 30 love, so we need two more points, and we got it, we're fine. So I'm in the back again. What do you got for me? Boop! Come on, whoa, I could have done that a little bit better. Ooh, we did pretty well. So that's 40 love, one more point, and then we got it. Match point. So she's serving, or no, he's serving, I don't know. Um. Oh, oh, oh. Hit it! <laughs> that was really unnecessary of me. There we go, ooh, and there we go! Game, set, and match! We have won. So very cool stuff! There's there's tennis, I like this tennis court, it's very uh, serene. But uh, that's gonna be about it, you win! We're tennis masters. Look at us go. <laughs> All right, so we win with our teammates in tennis doubles. The dog expert. We hear the dog expert gives dogs to caring owners. He's also a walking library of dog trivia. He hasn't said anything too interesting about dogs themselves, but you know, I'm all ears. But yeah, I would like to find this area's dog, because it seems like each area has their own dog. I didn't see a dog in the snow resort, though. How did it feel playing tennis surrounded by the great outdoors? Let me give you a word of advice. Try mixing up your strokes to mess up your opponent's moves. Good luck. I mean, I didn't really get the chance to do that. There's only one button to press. So there we go. There's our first one done. We'll try to do like two or three more, or maybe just one or two more um, in today's episode, and then we'll do the rest in the next episode. Uh, horseback riding is our next event. So let's get to it. Where do we gotta go? Looks like we do have to turn around. No, 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 we're, we're just going ahead this way. All right, then let's go, buddy. I don't know what I should name my horse. I think we'll name him Bill. Let's go, Bill. Oh, and it's right here. Okay, pretty short trip for us. I mean, but it is going to be a horse riding event, so maybe it'll just be me and Bill. And then after this, I do want to try like an off-road car or something. Hey! <laughs> The most important part of horseback riding is to understand your horse's feelings. That's right, both the rider and the horse have to be in tune with each other. Now enough horsing around. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Here's where you can do some horseback riding. You look like you're eager to get, in, get on that saddle. Well then, get on up there. Once you start riding, you and your horse will get along fine. Let the activity begin. All right, horseback riding, coin collect. Collect as many coins as you can. Reach the target score within the time limit. Declare the activity, so we need to get 30 points for gold. You can press ZR to jump. So I guess it's just timing our jumps over and over again. That shouldn't be too bad. Complete the horseback in the great outdoors. Uh, become one with your steed. I would love to. <laughs> okay, so let's get to it. Collect as many coins as you can. The target is 400. Oh, these are. Some uh, interesting looking coins are giant. Very, very large. Okay, so uh, let's pick these up. I wonder if they have chocolate inside. Maybe they're like those giant chocolate covered coins. That'd be delicious. So we got a good couple to start out, already 90 of them. We got everything we've seen so far. Now there's an odd lack of coins. So it looks like it's probably not even based off of completing the track, but instead, you know, when the timer completes, so. As long as we just keep going, maybe everything will be fine. Ready, set, whoop. Nice, 150 so far. So we're more than one fourth of the way there. If we get 200 coins, we'll be halfway there. So there's no way to make my horse go faster, unfortunately. It's pretty, pretty big track. Got it, there we go. Then they would add more coins that add to sort of the activity of it. But a lot of times there's just sort of these big gaps with no coins where it just feels like you're riding a horse, which is fine. It's just not really the point of the activity. Okay, got it, got it. Got it, 240. Whoop, 270. So I, yeah, I guess I thought it was that the goal was to get to 30. The goal, because I thought those were the rewards, right? You get like a gold medal for winning. Instead, the gold coin gives you 30. I get it a bit more now. <laughs> okay, we need one more and we get the 400. We'll just end at that point. No, I won't. so we gotta keep going. Let's try to get every single coin. That shouldn't be too bad. Like, I don't know how I could do this any better or any faster. I've been cutting the corners. I've been trying to uh, keep things pretty productive. We've got 27 seconds left. I mean, we could just, you know, have fun, try to jump over a barricade, see if it lets us. Probably won't. I don't think I will. Ready, jump. There's 30 more. Get that one. And this one, we're doing pretty well. All I need to do now is just finish the track or wait for, is that supposed to be the last one? There's no way you can get any farther than that. 
I don't see any other coins along the way. Wait, there are more coins. How in the world would you have that much time? How do you make the horse go faster? Oh well. Maybe there is some magical way to make the horse run like super fast. Maybe you shake the controller or something. Maybe it gallops a bit more. But we got 610 coins. I'm not complaining. Haha, <laughs> see how much fun horseback riding is? Your relationship with your horse still has a long way to go. Me and the horses will be waiting here, so come by again sometime. I think I forgot his voice. And then we set a new record, awesome stuff. So there we go, we got a little bit of a taste test to the mountain resort. We'll be playing a whole lot more of it in the next episode. Looks like paragliding is up next, which is really exciting. For now, we'll just do off-road slash car. Well, not off-road slash car, it's just off-road car. I saw the, the, the walking slash swimming and my brain just transferred it over here. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, maybe it's the altitude change that I'm not getting used to in the mountains. <laughs> With all that being said though, I had a lot of fun with this. I hope you guys are as excited as I am to check out more of the Mountain Resort next episode because it looks like there's a lot to do. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Go Vacation. If you watched this part of video, make sure you comment Zebra Mountain so I know you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.